We worked very hard to design a digital infrastructure which could match the state-of-the-art architecture of our new campus. Our vision is to provide a fertile platform to innovate and deepen learning. Technology has to be a catalyst to all educational experiences. But to meaningfully integrate this abundance of technology, we invest just as much time and energy into the most invaluable resource in our school, our students and our teachers. And to support them, our strategic plan is articulated around three axes, nurture leadership, enhance collaboration, and globalize sharing. Technology helped me uh, learn better because uh, we can use our own way to learn. We can use what we like to do to learn the things that we're learning in school. This year we did a math project about uh, how to solve different kinds of problems. And we have to use our own, like we can create any kinds of video we want. So I just made like a camera that's shooting right in front of me. And then when I say something important, it's zoomed in. Well, when we first started the laptop program, um, about five years ago, it was more of getting kids used to using a computer, typing, and telling them exactly what to do. Now it's more of a, I give them an assignment and tell them what I need, the learning that they need to show me, and they have technology choice in how they can um, choose to show their learning. Sometimes they show leadership and that they teach each other, but they also take initiative to choose the technology that they feel best represents the skill or the knowledge that they need to show in an assessment. In writing, we've published a lot of our books electronically. Science, we've done research projects. Math, we're just learning spreadsheets. And next week, we're going to practice area and perimeter. We do favor fruits and Google Sheets and the and then we did a graph and we we just find the graph we want and drag it to the place where we type and do the big and small things. If I give them an assignment on the computer they're way more engaged and mm -hmm. do higher quality work, find higher quality answers. What surprises me is after six months they're still excited. Mind cheer because they know they get to be on their computers then. It helps the kids that are at different levels to be able to work at their own pace. I feel like they go more in depth with responses and answering and, and things like that. So it kind of evens out the playing ground for mm -hmm. yes. all the levels. We decided that because it was going to need the input of a lot of people, it's going to need a lot of different documents, small pieces that were going to have to be put together, input from a lot of people, we decided to use Google Docs in order to facilitate the entire process. We had four different groups of people meeting and working on their areas of the report. And I was able to, from my office, monitor all four groups, and it was an amazing couple of hours where we got so much done and there was so much resolve very, very quickly. It was really cool. <laughs> I remember running up from my office and going in, and bursting into the one room and like, that was so cool. <laughs> um, students collaborate with technology in various ways, whether it's on a shared project that they're working together, or sometimes even if they're doing individual projects, there's often an exchange of, oh, that's really cool, how do you do that? So there's a lot of collaboration of skills, helping each other to learn something new. So right now in Google Classroom, I type up the question. It might mean I'm pulling in a different worksheet. It might mean that I'm actually putting a link. So to them, they're playing a game. They're pulling the name of the bone over and trying to fit it in the right spot, or they're trying to put the skeleton together. Things like that that I can now do as warm-ups rather than when I had three questions written on the board, and then they just wrote down their answers. It also eliminates the fact of throughout the week and not handing out extra sheets of warm-up paper on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as they lose them. It's made grading it a whole lot easier, so I can just go in, it shows me how many are done, how many are not done. It's perfect for something like that. Just quickly look at what's done, what's not done, put in the gradebook. We had evidence folders, so we could drop evidence directly in the folders, and we could link those directly to our report, and everything was contained there. Once people got into that, and once they understood what to do, yeah. most people just didn't look back. It was just amazing to me how, how simple everything 
can be and how quickly you can share the documents that you need and how you know it minimizes the clutter on your desk because you're not collecting all these papers and the use of Google Classroom is a very effective and useful way to organize your classroom making it so much easier for me next year. I use the, my calendar pretty extensively. I use it for making appointments for with my teachers and making sure that my secretary knows where I am at any given time, that kind of thing. Of course, Hangouts, that's kind of constant. There are, um, I have a lot of my teachers communicate with, that me, with me that way during the day, just to quickly send me a, a quick message and to, you know, see if I'm available or, and that, that happens on a, it isn't uncommon for me to have two or three chats open at a time just so that I can quickly keep touch base with somebody who needs a quick answer to something. So after students complete an assignment, they're often shared on their websites. Um, and through the sharing on their website, they're able to critique, uh, make comments on other people's work, as well as share it with a larger community. It's just fun to make little shows, short films and see co different YouTubers to co make comments. I love technology, I love computers, and I came from a, a situation where there was none to where I have state-of-the-art facilities. And it has made teaching so much more interesting, so much more enjoyable, and I, I get more excited about the things that I can do in class with the use of the technology. I would never have thought that at grade three level I would want, have ever even wanted a one-on-one. -on -one. Because it's just an in-class resource, yeah. it is invaluable. <laughs> It's in this context that we aspire to become a Google reference school. We believe it is time for Gaoshang American School to open its doors so that we can share our successful practices with other schools, other educators, and other students worldwide. I would ask Google. <laughs> Thank you.